here with us live to respond to all of that is Saskatchewan's Premier Scott Moe. Hi, Premier. Good to have you back on the show. Thanks for making the time. Oh, thank you so much, Fassi. I think we have a little bit of a, a delay in the connection, so uh, just to let the audience know that the Environment Minister Premier, the Federal Environment Minister, says your decision not to remit the carbon tax is, quote, immoral. The Energy Minister, you just heard on our program, uh, spoke to us last night. He said it's appallingly bad judgment. Do you regret your decision to break the law? Uh, no, um, we had, and I, what I find quite disappointing is that uh, the government of Saskatchewan has had to do what it is doing. Uh, we had called for months uh, for the federal government to treat all Canadians equally, to extend uh, the decision that they made predominantly for Atlantic Canadians to uh, all people in Canada and to all forms of, uh, of heating oil. You know, winter comes and goes every year and it gets pretty cold and it's been pretty cold here the last few days uh, as well. And uh, we, what we asked for uh, a number of months ago was for the federal government to extend this to all forms of heating oil for all Canadians, uh, to do so uh, in the, in the, uh, with the idea of treating uh, Canadian families equally. Uh, and we said if they did not, we would at least do what we could do to treat Saskatchewan families equally, and that's what we've done. But with due respect, Premier, that means that you are breaking the law. And it does set a precedent or an example, for example, to people in your province who decide that they don't like one tax or the other. What's your message for people who in Saskatchewan who don't like the PST or don't like paying income tax? Do as I say, not as I do? No, certainly uh, with respect to this, this is about uh, treating all Canadians equally, including those in Saskatchewan. We would uh, said for, for months and months that the federal government has the ability to, uh, to treat Canadian families equally, to remove the tax uh, that they have on home heating oil, um, uh, to extend that to natural gas, to electric heat, to propane heat, which uh, many other Canadians use. Um, we said if they did not do that, that we would look for ways to exempt Saskatchewan residents. And we found a, a couple of here. And I would say it's it's disappointing. And it's, uh, you know, to quote uh, the, the federal uh, energy minister, it's, uh, you know, unheard of and historic. I, I agree. Um, but I'd say it's tremendously disappointing that it's come to a decision like this uh, in our our province when the federal government had the opportunity to treat Canadian families fair from coast to coast to coast. And I'm certainly not, not taking away I, I'm not taking away from the concern that you and the residents of your province have about the way in which the federal government made this decision and the political nature of it. But that also doesn't take away a line of accountability to your government about the avenues it had available to it to pursue. And by that, I mean, you could have gone back to court and challenged what the federal government did there. You could have you know, looked through those avenues instead of gone right to just not remitting the tax, which is you know, very serious, as you said, very historic. It's a decision not to adhere to the law. Yes, and we may still find ourselves uh, going back to uh, some of those avenues as well. Uh, what this does is, uh, for at least half of this winter, treats Saskatchewan families equally, um, as equally as the federal government has chosen to uh, make what is essentially the same decision in Atlantic Canada. All, all we did here uh, was mirror the decision that the federal government made. They made a decision in Atlantic Canada that have impacted Atlantic Canadians. Uh, one of their ministers indicated it was uh, very much a political decision. I think she suggested that we should uh, elect more uh, Liberal MPs from the Prairie Provinces if we wanted to have a, a similar decision made in this space. Uh, that's disappointing. Um, and so what we did is essentially mirrored the federal government's decision uh, for Saskatchewan residents. We didn't go any further uh, and we didn't go any less. But to be fair, and I take your point again on the political nature of it, Minister Hutchings made that comment on one of my programs. To be fair, though, the, what they announced was not just a pause for home heating. They also announced a doubling of the rural rebate. And that applies to 45% of the people who pay the carbon tax in Saskatchewan, whereas the exemption for home heating oil applies to about 25% of Atlantic Canadians. So could other Canadians not make the argument that the doubling of the rebate further advantages Saskatchewan over the rest of the country? 
And, and we're still upside down in this province on the amount of dollars that we are paying in carbon tax versus the direct and indirect costs uh, that it is costing Saskatchewan residents. Um, and that, uh, that uh, amount that we are going to be underwater uh, with respect to that formula is going to increase as the carbon tax increases. Listen, this has been, uh, you know, our decision of which we highlighted months ago, said we were going to uh, make this decision if the federal government didn't do the right thing and treat uh, Canadian families uh, equally, has been called, uh, you know, a number of names. Uh, immoral is one of the names uh, that I've heard. And I, uh, you know, the, the, the carbon tax, uh, our, our foundational policy in this province is that it should be removed on on everything for everyone. That continues to this day. Uh, the reason is, is because Saskatchewan residents pay more uh, than uh, then they get back in any type of rebate and and that isn't that isn't fair either and we, so we think this tax uh, in addition to being one of the major contributors to uh, inflationary pressures uh, in, in addition to being uh, one of the major contributors to you know what our families are experiencing uh, in in increased prices at the fuel pumps in the grocery store here in Saskatchewan uh, we think it should be removed on everything for everyone uh, but in the meantime when the federal government is making uh, a decision to remove uh, this tax on home heating fuel, which we applaud, um, they should ensure that that is fair to all Canadians as well. And that's all we've done is mirrored the federal government's decision on home heating fuel, um, extended that to natural gas and to electrical heat for so that Saskatchewan families uh, can be treated fairly, uh, something that uh, unfortunately the, the federal government chose not to do. Respectfully, Premier, that doesn't address the substance of my question. If your principal objection is one of fairness to what the federal government has done with home heating oil, could it not be that other Canadians see it un as unfair that the doubling of the rural rebate largely impacts 45% of Saskatchewan residents, which perhaps is disproportionate when you compare it to other provinces? I mean, it's not the case that every decision the federal government has made with the price on carbon is, you know, for Atlantic Canada and against Saskatchewan. Yeah. No, the, 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 that that uh, you know, line of, uh, of, of conversation is actually hollow because Saskatchewan residents pay more than they, than they get in the rebate. And so if the rebate increases a little bit, we're still paying more uh, indirect and direct costs here in this province, which I think speaks to uh, the, the federal government really making uh, decisions that are increasing the inflationary pressures on our family when the families uh, in this province and across Canada largely, uh, when they visit the grocery store or when they're fueling uh, their car to take their, their children to extracurricular activities or whatever that might be. So we, we pay more than we collect, or sorry, we uh, Saskatchewan residents pay more than they receive uh, in the rebate and that's uh, part of the reason why we have always said uh, as uh, as the government of this province that uh, this inflationary tax uh, it isn't achieving anything in environmental outcomes um, the argument has been made that uh, you know uh, the, the rebates uh, will be received well it, it, is it an environmental policy or is it a wealth redistribution policy and that's a you know a good question maybe that the federal government uh, should answer it isn't achieving anything uh, in the way of reducing emissions uh, certainly it's contributing to inflationary pressures for uh, families um, and now uh, the federal government has chosen to um, uh, to enact it uh, unfairly across the nation um, unfairly uh, with the decision to remove it remove the carbon tax from home heating fuel which I said largely uh, does impact uh, Atlantic Canadians Atlantic ministers and uh, MPs were uh, predominantly the ones that attended that announcement that's what it was focused on uh, we broadcast for months that we were going to mirror that decision in Saskatchewan and that's uh, precisely uh, what we have done um, even with that we're still in this province family are paying more in carbon taxation than they're receiving in their rebates and so our goal is to not pay uh, any of that as, as families uh, and to ensure that we are uh, continuing to innovate uh, to reduce our emissions in other ways. And, and Premier, I certainly do understand, again, the concern you have around the political nature of the announcement with home heating oil. But you said a lot of things there. Do you have evidence for them? For example, that it achieved, that the, carbon, the price on carbon has achieved nothing. Do you have any evidence to support that? Because in other jurisdictions, that hasn't been the case, that it's a huge contributor to inflation and inflationary costs at the grocery store. I mean, what we've heard from the Bank of Canada's governor and other economists, including Trevor Toome at the University of Calgary, is that, in fact, it's very difficult to be able to assess how much inflation has impacted grocery prices and that overall it has impacted inflation to the tune of about 0.15 percent. Is it really fair to blame the carbon tax for every affordability issue that the residents of your province face? 
It's also been identified, I believe, by the PBO and a number of other economists that, yes, the carbon tax is contributing to inflation uh, in, uh, in, in our food production systems, in, the, in, the, uh, in the, uh, the food that is being ultimately transported across our nation and around the world. Uh, and then, uh, you know, last but certainly not least, uh, families are feeling it when they fuel up at the pumps each and every day. This is a, a federal government that, that introduced this unconsulted tax. Uh, then committed that it would never uh, rise above $50 a ton. Uh, now, I believe on April the 1st of this year, we're going to hit $65 a ton. Uh, by the PBO report, the indirect and direct costs uh, for our province, which is our direct concern, uh, we're paying about $500 more uh, in carbon taxation on average uh, in Saskatchewan per individual uh, than we're actually getting back in the rebate. And that number is going to get larger, uh, up close to just shy of $2,000 uh, a year by the year 2030. And so uh, it's, 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 it is impacting uh, Saskatchewan residents and Saskatchewan families, not only in the fact that they're paying more than they're getting back, uh, but indirectly, I, I think uh, the impact uh, may even be larger than what has been estimated in some of these reports. Uh, so it is uh, very much, uh, in my opinion, uh, a large part of the inflationary uh, challenges that uh, Saskatchewan and Canadian families are are experiencing, and we our, our policy has always been to remove this inflationary tax on everything for everyone. Okay, uh, Premier, I have to leave it there. I'm out of time, unfortunately. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it as always. I appreciate it, Vassie.